Gigi. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, everybody. Uh, happy Friday. Uh, no, happy bath day. Happy bath day. Happy almost World Water Day. No. World Water Day is on March 22nd, so that's coming up really soon. And because it's almost World Water Day, Willa wore her bathing suit and Aurelia. Aurelia, what's up, buddy? She wore her bathing suit too, but apparently she's not so happy about it. Maybe she will be happy when we sing. There it is. the whole thing ready bathing suit willow just got this bathing suit from a friend so we're celebrating world water day today and we're going to sing some water songs and read some water books and you know what we have also oh, no no i already saw them a giant rubber ducky and we have some bath people Mama, because i'm going to i'm going to sing i'm going i'm i but i have a song right now okay We'll start with a song, and then we're going to read a book called The Tub People. It's one of our favorite stories. Willow, come on over if you're going to sing your song. Bring the ukulele. Um, Is it a water song? Yeah, but it's kind of a rubber ducky, so you don't need to quack. Okay. Quack. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. All right.
along came a pig your help. Hold on. Come on up. So, our book today, come quick, Willow, no. is called The Tub People. And Willow, I need your help showing the people you brought. Come here. Come help me with the people. Ah! I don't want to. Uh-oh. Remember what I do? We do this. Tickle, 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 tickle. Willow brought these really special people today. Her tub people. She has quite a few tub people. Some of them look like people and some of them look like... That's the uh, like pigs. And she, how many do you have? Those are the pig tub people. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. three, four, five. She has five. No, tub people one, today. two, three, four, five, five, six, six, six tub people. And I think in our book there might be seven tub people, but let's find out. The Tub People by Pam Conrad. Illustrations by Richard Iglesias. I'm, I'm going to say the word like can that. you say the people? We're going to say them together. So, once upon a time, the Tub People stood in a line Fine. all day on the edge of the bathtub. That's right. There were seven of them, and they always stood in the same order. There was the father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, the child and the dog. That's right. And they were all made out of wood. wood. Their faces were plain. They could smile or frown um, or cry or... Giggle. Or giggle. they could but wink. And sometimes they would wink. But it hardly showed. And here they are all standing in and a the, line. And did you know... The mother actually has this kind of shape, so I... Yeah, there you go. The father of the tub people liked to play sea captain. He would it's... take the mother, the grandmother, and the child for a ride on the floating soap. And here they are. This is the child. Yeah, floating on the soap. The others stood on the edge of the tub and waved. Hello. Once in a while, the tub people would slide off the soap and into the warm bath. Help, help. Help, help! And the captain would rescue them. We're coming, we're coming! The policeman and the doctor liked to have water races, bobbing from one end of the tub to the other. They would cheer and the grandmother would say, Shh, you're very noisy. When bath time was over, they always lined up. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yep, seven. The father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, the child, and the dog. dog. But one evening, one evening, the bathwater began rushing down the drain before they were lined up, pulling all the tub people this way and that way and this way and that way and this way and that way, this way and that way, this way and that way. Oh no, the soap danced all over the drain, turning and turning and turning into a whirlpool. Standing on the soap, getting dizzier and dizzier was... The child. The child. Help! Help! But this time his father could not save him. There he is. Uh oh, what's gonna happen? <gasps> the tub child disappeared down the drain without a sound. Glub. He goes down the drain. The tub mother pressed her face to the grate. She looked and looked for her tub child. Hello. But she could not see him. There she is looking. Where is he? Oh dear. Later that night, the tub people lined up at the edge of the tub. Just six of them. The soap was soft and back in the soap dish. The washcloth was drip. Drip, dripping a lonely the sound. Father. And the tub people felt very... Can I say the line? Yep. The, the, the father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, and the dog. And the dog. And were they happy? No. No. What were they? Sad. They were very sad. And there they are, all six of them. No child. Oh, dear. The next night, the six tub people climbed onto the washcloth raft and they called for their tub child. Hello, hello. But they knew exactly where he had gone. Honey, where are you? Come home now, please come home. But he did not answer. Every evening, the tub people continued to float in the water. But in time, they stopped calling and they never winked at each other anymore. And there they are. Still missing the little child. Oh then, one day, an unusual thing happened. The bath water began going down the drain, slower and slower and slower. slower. Big people came and they peered into the tub. What's the matter with the tub drain? They asked. They filled the room with deep voices and they blocked the light. What's the matter with the tub? What's the matter with the tub? What's the matter with the tub? The tub people stood woodenly in the line. If they could have spoken, they would have shouted out what a terrible drain it was and how it sucked away their little tub child. But they were all Why? quiet. And look who's in the drain. <gasps> That's who's getting the problem. Mm-hmm. That afternoon, a big man came and pried off the drain cover, grunting as he worked. He shone a light down and frowned. Then he pushed a long wire, and he jiggled it up and down, up and down. Come home now, said the grandmother, she whispered. And out of the drain popped the little tub child, wet and tired. And there he goes, pop, out of the drain. The tub people stood in line watching. One by one, they smiled. The father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, and the, the dog. And the dog, that's right. The tub mother had soapy tears running down her wooden cheeks. But the big man did not look at them. He tossed the chub child into the toolbox and shut it with a click and left. The tub people waited for bath time, hoping their child would come back. But bath time never came. It got later and later, and still they waited and they worried. And there he is in the toolbox. Oh, the little tub child. I'm glad he's out of the drain, at least. Finally, 
when they felt they could wait no longer, they were lifted up and carried into a new room and placed on a bed. It seemed like water to them, except that it was dry and firm. And there were seven of them once again. The tub dog knocked no, his little I, wooden head against the tub child. No, the father, the mother, the the dog. Uh, the, the father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, the do, the boy, and, and the, the dog. dog. And they lay there and they all laughed. <laughs> there was a thick quilt on the bed and when it was bunched up, they would go mountain climbing. I forgot to show you the other picture. Here they are all lying on the bed. And when the quilt was all bunched up, they would go mountain climbing and the father would be the leader. He would lead them up one side of the mountain and they would tumble down the other. The grandmother liked to hide under the pillow so everyone could come and find her. And the tub child liked to fall off the edge and have his father rescue him. And there he is with his father being rescued. Well, each night when the lights went out, they lined up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven along the edge of the, the windowsill. And still, the, the father, the mother, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, the boy. The little child and the dog. And the dog. Just like they had at the bathtub edge. But each morning when the sun was shining in on them, something would be different. The tub child would be standing beside the tub mother and the tub father. And if you looked very, very closely, you would see on their faces they had... Smiles. But, Smiles. but look at the picture. Um, I mean... I'm going, right. I'm going to count them. Go ahead. The father, the boy, the, the, the mother, the, the grandmother, the doctor, the policeman, and the and dog. And the dog. And there they all are, standing in a different order and happy. smiling, happy. They all had smiles on their wooden faces. Snip, snap, snout. This tail is out. Out. I have a story. Yep. About Willow's gonna read her story. I want to sing a quick water song for you I, first, and then I, it's all you, Willow. No, I want to read my story first. Can we do the river one? Mm. Or the water? The water heals my body. Oh. You want to do that or the wheel of the water? Okay, come on in. Help them learn it. Are you ready? Uh, Gizmo knows this. Gizmo knows both of these, so sing them for her. She's watching you. <laughs> you ready? I was hoping for the water heal my body one. Maybe we could do both. Okay. If we sing, oh. This is a song by Coco Love Alcorn. Water heal my body. Water heal my soul. When it go down, down. Can you sing it with us? Water heal my body, water heal my soul. When I go down, down to the water, by the water I feel whole. And we live near some water, don't we? Do we live near an ocean? No. Nope. Do we live near a lake? Nope. What we do, Mommy? Do we live near a river? What? We do have a pond and a lake. We have a pond and a lake? Where? You remember that water table. That's our pond. Oh, we got a water table this week. We did. We're really excited about it. We haven't used it yet, though. So it's kind of like a lake. But we live near a river, and we live near the canal. So we have lots of water near us. And if you live near water, this is a great song. You can go down by the water with your mom or your dad or your grandmother or your babysitter or whoever's with you, you can go down by the water and you can sing this song. It goes, water heal my body, water heal my soul. When it go down, down to the water, by the water I feel whole. Oh, water heal my body, water heal my soul. When it go down, down to the water, by the water. By 
by the water I feel whole. All right, you want to read your water book? Yep. Okay. Which one are you doing? This one or um, the other one? Um, this. This one. All right. King. Willow has a book called King uh, Big Good in the Bath. King Big Goods in the Bathtub by Audrey Wood, illustrated by Don Wood. Ah, I guess they're family. All right, go ahead. Look at that castle. Oh, it's a big castle. That must be where King Big Good lives. Yeah. But this time I'm not going to show the pictures because sometimes I just like to look at them. Okay. I can always help you show them anyway. It was... starts on the next page. Yeah. There you go. Help, help. King Big Good is in the bathtub. And he won't get... Out. Oh, who knows what to do? I know, said the... the the guard, we can go. I know, said the knight, when the sun came up, get out, it's time to battle. Battle. Come in, said the king with a boom, boom, boom. Today we battle in the tub. Tub, and here's the picture. Whoa, I have to turn it this way, actually. I'm gonna make everybody dizzy. There he is battling in the tub. Bing, bing good in the bathtub. Do what? Help, I, help, cried the queen when the sun got hot. It's, get out, get out. It's time to have lunch. Lunch. Well, come in, cried the king with a yum, yum, yum. Today, we lunched in the tub. tub. And there he is. Can you imagine having lunch in the bathtub? Yeah. That would be pretty good. Help, help, cried the page. And they, they King Big Good's in the bathtub. And you. He won't get out. Oh, who knows what to... I do, cried the duke when the sun sank low. Get out, it's time to... Yes! Come in, said the king with a glub, glub, glub. Today we fish in the... Tub. Tub, and here he is. Fishing. Wow. I wouldn't fish in the tub. You wouldn't fish in the tub? You don't think you'd catch anything? Yeah, the cub... Only I would catch us some water. Just water? What about a shark? No, sharks are not eating. They're not in the tub? What about an octopus? No, octopuses live in the sea. What about a bubble? No. <laughs> help, help, cried the page when the sun got dark. King Big Good's in the bathtub and he won't get... Ow. Oh, who knows what to do? I do, cried the court. When the sun got dark, get ready for the masquerade ball. Come in, said the king with a jig jig. Jig. Today we dance in the tub. Tub. And here they are having a masquerade ball in the tub. I want to do that. No dancing in the bathtub? Yeah, because you can't stand up. That is right. It's not a good idea to stand up in the tub. And that woman, that woman, that woman, that woman. Mm. Help, help, cried the court when the moon shone bright. King Big Good's in the bathtub. And he won't. It's out. Oh, who knows what to do? I do, said the page when the moon shone bright. And he pulled the... Drain. He pulled the plug. That's right. See if I can get it on the screen there. There he is. He pulled the plug. And look! 
glub. <gasps> the glub. The king doesn't look so happy. Not so happy. Glub. 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 There he goes. That's one way to get out of the tub. What What do you do when I pull the drain on the bathtub? Screech. You screech, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Why? The guy looks so. Do you like it when the water goes out of the tub? Nope. Nope. Do you like taking baths? Yeah. Yes, it's so much fun. We love bathtubs. We just got, what did we get that was new for our bathtub for your birthday? Um, um I, 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 I. From Aunt Alexandra. I, I need to get it. You can get, I'm going to start singing goodbye because we're almost out of time, but you can go get it and show them if you want. All right, you ready? Hands in the air. We wave them side to side to side to side. Na, 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 na. to Pippa, goodbye to Levi, hey, 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 bye-bye, goodbye to Alice, goodbye Penelope, hey, 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 bye-bye, goodbye to Timothy, goodbye to Olivia, hey, 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 bye-bye. About to show you her bathtub toy and I think I've missed a lot of people that are on here but hopefully if I didn't say your name we know you're out there and we love that you're here with us oh thank you oh thank you for your music <laughs> Willow, show them what that is that you're doing real quick. We got this wacky bathtub toy. Can you show them the whole thing? Ugh. Come here, bring it up. It goes on your bathtub. Uh-oh. Oh. It attaches to your bathtub, and it makes bathtub ice cream. You put the little cone here, and you put some bubble soap up top, and you pump it, <laughs> and it makes... Do you eat the bubbles, though? No. No. Ugh, that would not taste good at all. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I want to do it again. Yeah. You want to put that back in the bathtub? All right, everybody. We'll see you next Friday. Next Friday is going to be our 52nd story time, which means we'll have done this for exactly one year. Can you believe it? We don't know if we're going to keep doing it after that or if we'll do something different. We'll see. But for now... We will hopefully see you next week for story time number 52. Bye, everybody.